To make money betting on sports, there are three strategies. Bonus bet converting, arbitrage betting, and positive expected value betting. In order to get new customers to sign up, sportsbooks give out new player promotions like bonus bets and risk-free bets. Just go to the website of any sports betting company and you'll see these sign-up offers on the front page. For example, guys, BetMGM is offering new players $1,500 in risk-free bonus bets when you sign up. What? We can actually take these offers that sportsbooks give us and hedge them to make a guaranteed profit. What 95% of people would do is take this money and use it on negative expected value bets, meaning they're guaranteed to lose money over the long term. Why else do you think these websites give out free money, guys? Because they know they're gonna make it right back from people who don't know what they're doing. But luckily, that's not us. What we're gonna do instead is take this free bet and place it on one side of a game. We're gonna go to a different sportsbook and hedge this free bet by betting on the other side of the same game with our own money. This means that we profit no matter which bet wins. By hedging this free bet, we're essentially converting it to cash and mathematically guaranteeing ourselves at least a 70% profit. This means that from this $1,500 free bet, we just guaranteed ourselves $1,050 completely risk-free with literally no work. What? You can literally sign up for every sportsbook available in your state, DraftKings, FanDuel, BetMGM, Caesars, all of them, and do this exact same thing. Sign up, take their new player bonuses, hedge them to make guaranteed profit, and repeat. This is a 100% safe strategy that will profit you $5,000 or more completely risk-free within your first month of betting. Before you get ahead of yourself though, do not start signing up for sports betting websites yet. You're gonna wanna finish this course first or you might make a mistake. And if you already have sports betting accounts open, meaning you already bet on sports, don't worry. You can and you should still follow this course. The second type of betting is arbitrage betting. Arbitrage betting is when you bet on two different sides of the same game on different sports books, allowing you to make a guaranteed profit regardless of which bet wins. If you don't quite understand, imagine betting $1 on both sides of a coin flip. If it lands on heads, you win $1.10, but if it lands on tails, you win $1.15. Regardless of which one it lands on, you would make a small profit from your bet. This is how arbitrage betting works. It's literally free money, guys. It's simply because different sports books have different odds, and odds often align in a certain way that allows you to bet on both sides of a game and come out a small winner regardless of the outcome. Yes, I know it sounds too good to be true, but it's not. It's literally just taking advantage of different odds on different sports books. I used arbitrage to make my first $30,000 sports betting. That's why these two strategies are extremely powerful. They literally allow you to cheat the system and make guaranteed money just by using basic math. The third type of betting is gonna be the main bulk of our income, guys, and that is positive expected value bets. Put simply, positive expected value bets are bets that beat the house edge. Positive expected value bets are the holy grail of sports betting because they're bets that are mathematically guaranteed to win over the long run. Let's go back to the coin flip example. Imagine we bet $1 just on heads every single time. If heads wins, we win $1.10, but if tails wins, we only lose our $1 stake. If we keep flipping this coin over and over and over, our expected value is positive because our winnings always outpace our losses. Because remember, if we win, we get $1.10, but if we lose, we only lose a dollar. These bets daily profited me an average of $136 every single day from January, 2022 to September, 2023. That's $4,100 a month, literally a full-time income. I truly believe that this is the best side hustle on the entire internet. And if this interests you and you wanna get started right now, then there's two easy things that you need to do. Number one, you need to go down to the description and click on the first link to start your seven day free trial of Odds Jam Positive Expected Value Plan. Every single dollar that I've ever made betting on sports has been because of this website and you'll need it to follow along with this course. Yes, after the trial, it is a paid software and no, it is not cheap, because it's the gold standard tool for betting on sports and it's absolutely necessary. I'm active in a community of hundreds of winning sports bettors. We all use Odds Jam and we all show our bets and statistics publicly for everyone to view so that you know it actually works. And when you sign up with my link, you're gonna get 20% off your first month. Just use the free trial and if by the end of this course you decide that this isn't for you, then simply cancel the free trial. Number two, you need to add me on either Discord or Instagram so that if you have any questions about any of this, you can send me a message. As long as it's a reasonable hour, I'll respond to any question that you send me within a few minutes. I simply wanna help you become a profitable sports better. 99% of the people on the internet talking about sports betting have no idea what they're doing and they can't even show their profit loss. I'm gonna give you the secrets that professional sports bettors use to make millions and it's all gonna be in this video for absolutely free. In this course, I'm gonna explain in simple elementary terms how to do bonus bet converting, arbitrage betting, and positive expected value betting. Before we start though, there are three small things that you need to understand. Odds, tracking your bets, and most importantly, you need to understand avoiding limits. 
These are sports betting odds. Odds are numbers set by the sports books that determine how likely an event is to happen, as well as how much money you would win if you bet on that event. If you can't explain to me in detail what everything in this picture means, then you need to watch the nine minute video linked below. This is a great video by Action Network that explains what sports betting odds are. Odds are the absolute fundamentals of sports betting and they're super easy to understand. Again, like I just said, if you don't understand this, you need to watch this video. With that being said, if you watch the video and you still don't quite get it, don't worry about it. Just continue on with the course. Send me a message and I'll help you out. And if you're someone who already fully understands all this, cool, you're already good. The number two thing you need to understand is tracking your bets. Every single profitable sports better tracks their bets so that they know how much money they're making at all times. Luckily, tracking your bets is super easy with the help of two tools, and we'll be getting into that later in the course. Number three is the most important thing and honestly the biggest catch to all of this. I'm talking about limits. The reality is that sports betting companies do not like players who use bonus bet converting, arbitrage betting, and positive expected value betting. And when you start to win large amounts of money, they can limit the amount of money that you're allowed to bet. This is an email that I got from Bet365 restricting the amount of money that I'm allowed to bet. And this is an email that I got from the Hard Rock saying that I'm no longer allowed to use promotions. You might be asking, how does the sportsbook know if you're using these strategies? They have a few different ways of figuring it out, all of which I'm gonna be going over at the end of this course. And of course, I'm gonna be showing you how to get around this so that you don't get limited for as long as possible. But guys, you have to understand that it's basically guaranteed that you're gonna get limited at some point. They're not just gonna let you win unlimited money for the rest of time. It's important to realize that this doesn't mean you're in trouble or that you can't withdraw your money. It's simply their way of saying they don't want you to play on their sports books because you're making too much money. For now, I'm gonna teach you the first part of our sports betting plan, and that is bonus bet converting. Continue on to the next lesson where you'll make your bonus bet game plan. That's the last setup that we have to do before we start making thousands of dollars completely risk free. What we're doing now is making a simple game plan. You need to make this to keep track of every single promotion available to you, as well as their terms and conditions. Every state has unique sports books that operate there, which have their own unique promotions. I promise we're gonna get to the fun part and start betting on sports soon. This is just some essential preparation and organization that we have to do. Step one, open up an empty spreadsheet in Google Sheets or Microsoft Excel. Step two, in the first four columns, type in sportsbook, promo, requirements, and expiration date. Step three, go to my bonus bet cheat sheet and scroll down to find your state. This is a free PDF I put together for you guys with a list of every sportsbook you should sign up for, depending on what state you're in. You can also go to sportsbooksonline.com and find a full list of sportsbooks in your state, but I highly recommend just using my PDF. Step four, enter this list of sportsbooks into your empty spreadsheet under the column sportsbooks. Step five, you're gonna sign up for every sportsbook on your list by searching up sportsbook and then sign up bonus. For example, with DraftKings, search up DraftKings sign up bonus. As you can see, when I search this up, it takes me to the official DraftKings site where it shows their new customer sign up bonus. Now you're gonna enter this bonus into your spreadsheet. Their new customer promo is get $150 in bonus bets when you bet $5. So go to your spreadsheet and beside DraftKings, enter $150 bonus bets as the promo and the requirement is to bet $5. That's the action that we need to complete in order to get the bonus bets. Finally, you're gonna go through with the sign up process for the site. Do you see what we're doing? We're signing up for these sports betting websites and writing down the promotions that they're giving us so that we can easily keep track of them and complete them all. Now you're gonna do this with every sports book on your list. For example, if Caesars is on your list, search up Caesars sign up bonus, go to their official site where it shows their promo and enter it into your spreadsheet. But wait a second, listen to this real quick. You need to understand something very important and that is the difference between bonus bets and risk-free bets. Bonus bets are free money that you get for completing a task, while risk-free bet is free money that you get back if you lose your bet. An example of a bonus bet promo is something like deposit $10 and get $200 in bonus bets, or bet $50 and get $250 in bonus bets. A risk-free bet promo is something like get up to $1,000 back if your first bet loses. You might see risk-free bets also called second chance bets. The promotion that you'll get on a lot of these, such as Caesars or BetMGM or BetRivers, etc., are gonna be risk-free bets, not bonus bets. So just make sure you specify the difference. For example, with Caesars, the promo says, if your first bet loses, you'll get it back as a bonus bet up to $1,000. So in the spreadsheet, you should type in a $1,000 risk-free bet, and the requirement is to lose your first bet. You might be asking yourself, how is this profitable and why is this good if you have to lose first to get back a bonus bet? And that is actually a great question that I'm gonna address. It's actually dead simple to make $1,050 or a 70% profit just from this one promo, even if you have to lose your first bet. 
So go ahead and finish signing up for every sportsbook on your list and filling in their promos, making sure to pay attention to whether it's a bonus bet or a risk-free bet promo. You should now deposit money into any sportsbook where you have a bonus bet promo and fulfill the requirements in order to get the bonus bets. On DraftKings, for example, all we have to do is bet $5. So just bet five bucks on whatever you want, it doesn't matter, and you'll get all your bonus bets. On FanDuel, for example, you have to place a $5 bet that wins. So go bet on something that's a heavy favor to win. This, for example, this bet is minus 8,000. It's basically never gonna lose. So bet on something like this, and when it wins, you'll get all your bonus bets. Also, as you may have noticed, these bonus bets do have expiration dates, so make absolutely sure that you take note of these and write them down in your spreadsheet so you don't forget. You're going to learn how to make guaranteed, maximized profit with these bonus bets in the next lesson. Awesome. If you followed along with me until now, you should now have some bonus bets. Now comes the fun part. We're going to take these and turn them from site credit into cash at a 70% or more profit with zero risk. To do this, we're going to need Odds Gem, the software that I told you to sign up for in the beginning of this video. If you haven't signed up for it yet, go down to the link in the description and sign up now. When you first sign up, this should be the screen that you see first. The only thing that you need to do is select existing sports books. Number two. You don't need to worry about any of this. This is simply gonna ask you what sports books are legal in your state so it can show you relevant information. So just select the sports books that were on your spreadsheet. All right guys, so I just logged into my FanDuel. And as you can see, I've got 200, what is this, $200 of bonus bets. I got this referral bonus, and then you got this one, the one that all new customers get. Log into OddsJam and go over to the side where it says convert bonus bets. This screen is showing you the most profitable ways to convert your bonus bets. Go over here to Sportsbook and select the Sportsbook where you're trying to convert the bonus bet. In our case, it's FanDuel. Then input the amount of your bonus bet. In this case, it's 150. What this tool is doing is scanning all of our sports books and it's saying, hey, how can we hedge our bet to get the most profit possible? Over here, you'll see the amount of profit that you'll make just by hedging this free bet completely risk-free. Right here is where it tells you how much you have to hedge your free bet at. So in this case, you would make a 76% profit just by placing your free bet on Cincinnati Bengals money line and then going on Pinnacle and using your own money right here, $515, to bet on the other side of the same game, which is Jaguars money line. When we make this bet, there are only two possible outcomes. Either the Bengals are gonna win or the Jaguars are gonna win. Yes, technically there could be a tie, but forget about that. If the Bengals win and the Jaguars lose, then we win our bonus bet and we get paid out $630, but we lose our hedge bet, which is $515. This leaves us with a total profit of $114. But what if the opposite happens? What if the Jaguars win and the Bengals lose? We would win our hedge bet and get paid out $630 and lose our free bet, which cost us nothing. $630 minus our $515 stake is guess what? $114, the exact same profit as if the Bengals would have won. That's where this number comes from. This is how much we are guaranteed to make regardless of who wins the game. And this is the percent of the bonus bet that we turned into cash. 114 divided by 150 is 76%. In this situation, we can simply make these bets and kick our feet back knowing that we're going to make over $114 on one single game from doing literally nothing. We started with $515 of our own cash and a $150 bonus bet, and we turned it into a total of $630 cash. The amount of profit as well as the hedge amount all depends on the odds. You'll notice that with any bonus bet, you can usually convert it at a rate of 70 to 90% profit. And the lower the numbers for the odds, the lower amount of your own money that you'll have to use as a hedge. For example, hedging a bet where the odds are in the 1000s is gonna require you to use a lot more as a hedge than a bet where the odds are in the 300s or the 200s, even though they're the exact same profit. If you're operating with a small bankroll, don't get scared by the large numbers. For this bonus bet conversion right here, all you would need is $278 total. It goes without saying, but now is the time to deposit money into your sports books on a case by case basis. When you see a good bonus bet conversion opportunity, simply just deposit the amount of money that you need to hedge. If you are a new sports better, do not do a bonus bet conversion with a book that has a risk free bet sign up promotion. What do I mean by that? Say I'm a new player and I just signed up for BetMGM. BetMGM has a 1.5K risk free first bet. So, what you don't want to do is take your bonus bets on FanDuel and then make a hedge bet on BetMGM. That means you just wasted your risk-free bet. We want to save these risk-free promotions for later. Now you know how to convert bonus bet promotions to guaranteed cash. You should now sign up for every sportsbook that has a bonus bet promotion in your state 
and fulfill their requirements. Depending on what state you live in and what sports books and promotions you have there, you could probably knock all these out in a day or two. That is several hundred dollars right there just from these bonus bets. I understand some of you might be operating with a smaller bankroll, and that's perfectly okay. You can just do the promotions in groups. Let's say you only have like $1,000. You could do the promo for FanDuel and DraftKings, maybe withdraw a little bit of money, and then do it on Bet365, etc. Of course, I know that we're all in different states and you might not have the same sports books as me, but the point is the same. Next up, we're gonna do these risk-free bets or second chance bets. This is where you have to lose your first bet and then they give you bonus bets back, which is not a problem at all. We're literally gonna finesse the system to make thousands of dollars completely risk-free. All right guys, so this is how risk-free promotions work. If you sign up and you make a bet with your own money and you lose this first bet, they'll give you back that money in the form of bonus bets. So in this case, if I bet $500 on the Cowboys tonight and they lose, they'll give me back $500 in bonus bets. Well, under normal circumstances, this is pretty useless. If this happened, we'd be down $500 and all we would have is some site credit. Luckily though, we can actually cheat these promotions to avoid losing any money at all while still getting these bonus bets. To do this, we're gonna use the low holds betting tool on OzGym. The concept is very simple. We're betting on both sides of the same game on two different sports books in order to guarantee that we don't lose anything. We're basically just using hedging again. What OzGym is doing is scanning all of our sports books to find opportunities where we can bet both sides of a game and come out dead even, or at least close to it, which is actually very rare and would be impossible to find without software. Say we have our $500 risk-free bet and we bet it on something that's plus 265. We then take 1.3K of our own money and we bet it on the other side of the same bet, which happens to be at minus 265 on another sports book. These two bets are even money, meaning that we lose $0 by betting on both sides. However, one of these bets is gonna win and one bet is gonna lose. They can't both win. Well, what's more likely to win? Something that's plus 265 or minus 265? Minus 265, of course, but our risk-free bet is the one that's on plus 265, meaning it's probably gonna lose. And when it does lose, Bet Rivers is gonna give us $500 in bonus bets, despite the fact that we didn't lose anything at all. Do you see what we just did? We hedged our risk-free bet on another sports book, ensuring that we lose $0. But we're hoping that the side with our risk-free bet promo loses, and if it does, we get credited with a free $500 bonus bet. So the only two outcomes in this situation are A, the bet wins on Bet Rivers, and it loses on the other sports book, and we make $0. Or B, the bet on the other sports book wins, and the one on Bet Rivers loses. We still make $0 in profit, but we get awarded a bonus bet from Bet Rivers. We can now use bonus bet converting to get a 70 to 90% profit on this $500 bonus bet. You should now know how to convert all the bonus bet and risk free bet promotions in your spreadsheet. For the bonus bet promotions, all we're gonna do is hedge them using the bonus bet converter. For the risk-free promotions, we're gonna use the low holds tool on OddsJam to extract the bonus bets from this promotion. And then once we get the bonus bets, then we're gonna use the same method as the bonus bet conversion. Now that you know how to convert all these bonuses to cash, it's up to you to determine how much money to allocate to each promo, as well as what order that you're gonna do them in. Obviously with these risk-free bonus promos, you don't have to use the entire amount. If the promo says risk-free bet up to $1,500, you can do $500, you can do $250, whatever works for you. The amount of money that you're going to make from promos is heavily dependent on number one, your bankroll, and number two, how many sports books are legal in your state. For example, if you only have $1,000 total to bet with, you're going to have to complete these promos in groups. Similarly, if you live in a state like Wyoming, where there's only four sports books, you're not going to make as much off promotions as someone who lives in a state like Virginia or New York, where there's way more books. I personally think that the sweet spot is anywhere from a 3 to 5k bankroll but it's more than okay if you don't have this. You can still absolutely kill it with arbitrage betting and plus EV betting with a smaller bankroll. Anyways, taking advantage of all these should take you anywhere from a few days to a couple of weeks, after which you'll start exploring arbitrage betting and plus EV betting. I know I've said this a million times, but if you have any question about any of this or you're confused about anything, just shoot me a message and I'll help you out. All right guys, this is gonna be a super quick lesson. As you know, an important part of profitable sports betting is tracking your bets. If you don't track your bets, you have no way of knowing how much money you're actually making. Luckily, there's an app that's super cool that tracks all your bets completely for free. The app is called Picket. This is not a desktop app. This is only on your phone or iPad or tablet. The app is completely free. There's no upcharges or anything, but if you use my code EAGLE24570, I actually get a very small referral bonus, so I would appreciate it if you guys used my code when you sign up. So take out your device and download it now and I'll explain how it works. It's actually super cool. It syncs with all your sports books. It shows your profit loss and exactly how much money you're making day by day, month by month, or year by year. 
It also shows the balance that you have on each sports book, so you don't have to log in to see how much money you have on each one. Pretty much every professional sports better uses this. If you go on Twitter and you look at people's profit loss, it's almost always in the Picket app. Not only can you see your own statistics, you can actually see other people's too. You can actually click on someone's profile and see their all-time return on investment, their profitability, and all of their bet history, which cannot be edited by anyone, even yourself. It's all third party and synced up with your sports betting websites. It's truly insane. My Picket is down below in the description, by the way, if you want to check it out. Picket is an awesome app, but it's not compatible with every single sportsbook just yet. More like 80 to 90% of them. Some smaller ones like Bet365 aren't available just yet, but are coming to the app very soon. For this reason, I actually don't recommend using Picket as your primary way of tracking your bets if you have sportsbooks that aren't supported on there. You should 100%, and I cannot stress this enough, use the Oddsdam Bet Tracker when you make your bets. Literally, all you have to do is, when you place a bet from the Plus EV or Arbitrage, or bonus bet tool, click this blue plus button right here and push save. That's literally it. It will then be put into your bet tracker and when it either wins or loses, it'll be shown in your statistics. I personally use my own bet tracker in Google Sheets for 100% accuracy and you can try it too if you want. I'll have to link down in the description with an empty tracker and instructions on how to use it if you're interested. Next up, we're gonna learn about arbitrage betting. Remember when we talked about odds earlier? Well, these odds are set by algorithms and they're constantly changing, sometimes by the minute. In addition to this, every sportsbook uses slightly different algorithms to set their odds. Sometimes odds align in such a way that allows us to bet on both sides of a game on two different sportsbooks and make a small guaranteed profit. I'm not going to go into the math behind this because honestly it doesn't matter that much. All you need to know is that these arbitrage opportunities are pretty rare and don't last that long. That's where Odds Gem comes in. OddsGem scans all your sports books and in real time shows you any arbitrage opportunities available. For reference, this would literally be impossible to do without software. The world has never had a tool that makes risk-free betting this easy. To see how it works, go to the tab on the left titled Risk-Free Arbitrage. On this page, you're going to see the event, the two sports books that the bets are on, as well as when the game is happening. It also shows you how much profit the bet returns. All you have to do is click on the calculator button and input however much you want on one side of the bet. It's then gonna tell you how much you have to bet on the other side. The number that you enter in just depends on however much you have to bet with. A normal amount for me would be about $250. Given this number, it tells me that I need to put $425 on the other side in order to make this guaranteed profit of 62.50 or 8.47%. Of course, you don't need this much money to do the exact same thing. Say you have $100, type in 100, and we can see that we need to bet $175 on the other side to make this guaranteed profit of $25. In case you don't understand how insane this is, we're making almost a 9% return on our money from one single bet. This is the average return of the stock market in an entire year, and we're making it in one single bet, and it's completely risk-free. This is the smart way to bet on sports. Not every bet on there is going to return 8.4% like this one, but still, the strategy is simple. Keep OddsGem open as a separate computer tab and check it throughout the day. Whenever you see a good arbitrage opportunity, log into the two sports books, place the two bets, then go on about your day. It really is that simple. Most arbitrage bets are going to be around 2-5% to profit, meaning that depending on how large your bankroll is, you can make anywhere from $10 to $100 per day just doing arbitrage. This may not sound like much, but it quickly adds up. Just $50 a day is $1,500 a month, which is a 87% profit margin after you subtract the cost of Odds Gem. That's literally all there is to it, guys. Look at the arbitrage bet a few times a day and place a few arbitrage bets, and you can make a very solid profit. Arbitrage betting is risk-free, but it does come with a couple of issues. Number one, it's more worth it when you have a larger bankroll. Number two, it's a bit harder to not get limited when you're arbitrage betting, which I'm going to discuss later. Honestly, if your bankroll is on the smaller side or you want to make money even easier, I still recommend that you try out arbitrage betting for a couple of weeks, but you'll probably like the third and last type of betting way more, and that is positive expected value betting. Continue on to the next lesson to learn about what is, in my opinion, the greatest side hustle on the entire internet, positive expected value bets. We've now made it to the final method of profitable sports betting, and that is plus EV bets. This is by far the easiest thing to do in this entire course. And it's the perfect complement to bonus bet converting because it's fun, it's sustainable long-term, and it's extremely profitable. What exactly does plus EV even mean though? Well, in order to make money, sports books add what is called the VIG on top of every bet. Think about it like this. Imagine you're able to buy $10 bills for $9.60. 
or you can sell $10 bills for $10.40. Sounds pretty good, right? This is essentially how sportsbooks are making their money. They're charging a spread on every single wager. Well, this makes 99% of all bets on a sportsbook negative expected value, meaning you're gonna lose money long-term. The most obvious example of this is in plain sight. For pretty much every game, look at the odds for the point spread and the over under. Notice how usually it's minus 110 instead of plus 100. If it was fair odds, it would be at plus 100, but instead the sportsbook puts a 10 cent tax on it, meaning that you won't profit in the long term. If this wasn't the case, then all sports betting companies would be out of business. The cool thing though is that around 1% of bets on sportsbooks are actually positive expected value, meaning they're mathematically guaranteed to win in the long run. We can find positive expected value bets by comparing odds to the rest of the market. Whenever there are odds that beat the VIG, we can say that they're plus EV and mathematically guaranteed to win in the long run. Let me show you an example. Here we can see that LeBron James over 26 and a half points it's plus 117 on these three sports books. However, on every other sports book is at minus 113, minus 137, etc. This is because, like I said, different sports books have different odds. Well, in reality, the no big odds are plus 106. This is what the bet should be at without the house edge. But we're getting it at plus 117, meaning we're beating the house with an edge of almost 5%. Sound confusing? Well, it's not. All you have to do is open the OzGem positive expected value tool and place these bets that are profitable. This is the only setup that you're gonna need. When you open the Plus EV tool for the first time, it's probably gonna ask you to enter your bankroll and your Kelly multiplier. Kelly multiplier is basically how much of your bankroll do you wanna risk at one time and how much risk do you want in general. I recommend that you stick with around 0.25. Over here, it tells you exactly how much to place on the bet. Right now, this is assuming a $3,000 bankroll and a 0.25 Kelly multiplier. Here's an example of me placing a Plus EV bet. I saw that Leeds versus Swansea had total goals had a 9.15% edge, so I ran to FanDuel and I placed it right away. As with everything on Odds Jam, these opportunities don't last forever, and you need to be speedy to take advantage of them before the odds change. The name of the game here is consistency. The more you place bets that have an edge, the more you'll realize that edge. Okay, what does this mean? Imagine there's a quarter that lands on heads 54% of the time and tails 46% of the time. Obviously, if we keep flipping this coin, heads is gonna win more than tails. But flipping it 10 times means nothing. There's not enough information to go off of. If we only flip it 10 times, it could be heads three times and tails seven times, even though heads is more likely to win. If we flip the coin a thousand times though, we're gonna see how heads comes out as the winner more. This is called reducing variance. The point is you're not gonna win every single bet, guys. You're gonna have losing streaks and you're gonna have losing days. Just take a look at my bet tracker and you'll see several instances where I had losing days and losing streaks. The short term does not matter though. This is all about using our edge over the sports book long term. As you guys can see in my bet tracker, I've lost about 45% of my bets and I've still profited multiple five figures. This is the founder of Odds Jam's Picket account where we can see that he's only won about 41% of his bets yet he's made over a million dollars from sports betting with an ROI, at least from what we can see, of about 7%. This is the power of positive expected value betting, having a long-term edge over the sports books. All right, guys, so I just taught you everything about bonus bet converting, arbitrage betting, and plus EV betting, and we're now about 90% done with the course. I made sure to save the most important two lessons for last. To close us out, I'm gonna teach you number one, how to double or even triple your profit in the beginning from promos, and number two, how to not get limited. These two things are absolutely imperative to profitable sports betting. All right, so first let's go over limits. What exactly are limits? Well, it's when the sports book says, hey, we've looked at your account and we've determined that you're an advantage player. An advantage player is someone who isn't betting on sports for fun, they're betting to make money. And those advantage players they're talking about are us. I've been limited on several sports books like Bet365, Hard Rock Bet, and BetMGM, but not before I was able to make multiple five figures in profit. Here are five things that you need to do to avoid being limited. Number one, round your bets. If Ozgem tells you they need to bet 23.74 on something, for example, bet $25 instead. Using exact numbers and cents like this is a dead giveaway that you're using some type of software or calculator to bet. Number two, main markets versus alternative lines and props. If you're betting really large bets, use main markets like money lines, spread, and totals instead of player props and alternate lines. Consider anything over a few hundred dollars to be a large bet. In case you don't understand the difference between these, a main market is something like Cowboys money line. It's a standard type of bet that a lot of people are betting on. It's not gonna raise any suspicion. An alternate bet is something like third period total goals for a hockey game. Not a lot of people are betting on how many goals a team is gonna have in the third period of a hockey game, which makes you look kind of suspicious. Lastly, a player prop is of course a bet on a player's stats, such as how many blocks LeBron James is gonna have tonight. 
These are definitely more common. You just want to stick to bets that are more common and sounds like somebody would actually make them. Number three, this one's kind of obvious, but bet on more popular sports. The bigger the sport, the safer it is to bet on. The largest or of course professional sports, things like the NFL and the NBA, things like tennis or darts or cricket games, have a lot less people betting on them and you may want to avoid these. Number four, avoid obvious errors. Sometimes a sports book makes a mistake in their posted lines. Do not bet on these obvious mistakes. For example, if every book out there except for one has the Yankees money line near minus 250, but one book has the line at plus 200, this is clearly a mistake and there's a 9 out of 10 chance that the sportsbook is going to avoid that bet and possibly limit you or ban you for betting online that was clearly a mistake. Number 5, and this one might actually surprise you guys a bit, but you don't want to withdraw. Withdrawing is not something that you want to do often. When you withdraw money, sportsbooks usually review your account and you don't want that. You want them looking at your account as little as possible. Also, when you withdraw, the sportsbook has to pay you real cash, which means you're locking in a loss for them. If you're in this for the long run, which you should be, I promise you that keeping your money on the sportsbook is 100% safe. These are multi-billion dollar companies that are highly regulated. You're not gonna lose anything. Of course, if you need to move money from one sportsbook to another, or you're broke and you need some cash, it's completely fine. Just don't go crazy with the withdrawals. You really wanna keep it to almost never. Me personally, when I was betting thousands of dollars a day, I only withdrew a handful of times, keeping it to when I really needed to. One surefire way to get limited is withdrawing immediately after hitting a sign up offer. If this is what you really want to do, then go ahead. Just know that you're probably going to be limited if you ever decide to come back. I know this might seem like a lot of things to avoid guys, but I'm just telling you what's recommended and what worked for me. You don't need to follow every single rule here religiously. Just try to be as considerate of them as possible. In the end, you're going to get limited at some point if you're a winning player. They're not just going to let you win unlimited money for the rest of time. It's all just about controlling when you get limited so you can profit more before they restrict you. All right, guys, you've now reached the final lesson. Now I'm going to show you a sneaky strategy that you can use to 2x, 3x, or even 4x the amount of money that you make from promotions in the beginning. And that is simply to create another account. See, when you sign up for a sportsbook, that sportsbook is now tied to your social security number and you can no longer make any accounts under your own name. What you can do, however, is have your mom, dad, sibling, or friend make an account and you tell them what to bet on. I'm not allowed to tell you to log in and bet for them because this is against their policy, but I know with 100% certainty that many people, including people who are not me, do this exact same thing. Anyways, this alone can double, triple, or even quadruple the amount of money that you make from promos, and it can be an account reset when you get limited. Just make sure to not use the same bank or credit card with two accounts in the same household. Also make sure that you don't use a referral bonus with someone that lives in the same household as you. You're not allowed to refer someone that lives with you under the same IP address. Congratulations, you've reached the end of the course and you now know all the fundamentals of how to actually be a winning sports better. I encourage you to explore Odds Jam, explore the Pigot community, which is full of winning sports bettors, and of course, subscribe to the channel and like this video if you genuinely found this information useful. I have a lot more content to come. I'm gonna be very active on this channel, and I hope to see you guys in the future.